Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, my dear students. Our lesson today is listening. We are going to listen to a dialogue about laws and what kind of laws? Stupid and strange laws. You are going to answer questions while you are listening to this dialogue and choose the best answer. You, need, you are going to need your student book, page 36. So before you gonna look at the dialogue for listening, you are also going to look at the question and the sentences, the answers are given. Before we go for the listening, I would like to discuss with you some some issues about stupid laws. Before that, there's a question. Why do laws exist? You should think about why do laws exist? لِبَاذَا الْقَوَانِينَ موجودة. For what reason? You should think about that. Okay, maybe after you think, you're going to have this answer. Laws exist to protect people from being harmed by others and to discourage people from harming others, from harming each other. Each other. Okay, and also in this dialogue, you're going to listen to strange, as I said, and stupid laws, something funny. There are usually laws should be logic and reasonable and make sense for everybody to think because a law it is people's agreement about that now can you think of any laws that are too extreme or strange or ridiculous to be enforced because sometimes people think this law shouldn't exist or that law or maybe you t if you travel to any country maybe you're gonna say oh I found that law very stupid or very strange okay let's now look at the interview between Mr. Stapleton and a man called X a legal expert who talk about strange or stupid laws throughout the world. So you, he gonna pick some examples for you. Uh, you need to read the questions and then you go for that. So I leave you for the listening now for the questions. My guest today is Alan Stapleton a legal expert who will tell us about strange laws that exist in many parts of the world. Welcome to the show, Alan. Thank you. Let's begin with some strange laws that exist all over the world, which concern cars, drivers, bicycles, and roads in general. What can you tell us about them? The list is endless. In Australia, for example, it is illegal to leave your car keys in an unattended vehicle. Why is that? Probably the police are concerned about the increasing number of car thefts, or even joyriders stealing cars and then driving around for fun, causing accidents. Moreover, in Canada, it is considered illegal to repair your car in the street. Perhaps the authorities are concerned about noise pollution, or the fact that expensive neighborhoods might start to resemble mechanical workshops or garages. They may also be concerned about safety issues in case someone gets injured. Talking about safety, in Mexico, bicycle riders may not leave either foot off the pedals as they may lose control and cause an accident. And in Connecticut, USA, you may be stopped for cycling faster than 100 kilometers per hour. That sounds incredible. Is it possible that a person can cycle faster than 100 kilometers per hour for the law to apply? Well, I really doubt it. Anyway, coming to Europe now. In Germany, it is illegal for your car to run out of petrol on the famous autobahn or super-fast motorways. 
I can understand their logic because any stationary cars could cause serious accidents and pile-ups. Similarly, I accept the fact that in the UK, lorries transporting cows or sheep may only be driven along the motorways between 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. with police permission, as at this time of the day there is less traffic and it is considered to be safer to transport animals then. In Hawaii, California, Nevada and Florida, you may be booked for driving too slowly, as once again, these drivers may slow down the flow of traffic and cause accidents. I read somewhere that it is illegal for a driver to be blindfolded while driving or operating a vehicle in the US. But who would drive a car while blindfolded? <laughs> Nobody. Still, remaining in the US, I am puzzled as to why a driver may not drive barefooted, though. Hmm, sounds strange. What about animal laws? There must be some strange ones, I guess. Certainly, especially in the US. In Louisiana, you may not tie an alligator to a fire hydrant. And if you live in North Carolina, you can't use elephants to plow cotton fields. In Oklahoma, it is illegal to transport a bowl of fish on a public bus, or to transport the hind legs of farm animals in the boot of one's car. Even making funny faces at animals is considered worthy of a fine. It seems that the animal rights lobbyists have fought hard for the protection of animal rights there. Yes, but maybe that's a bit extreme. Anyway, what about some strange laws concerning food? I think there were some really funny ones in the past, right? In the UK, during the reign of Edward VI, anyone who was caught breaking a hard-boiled egg at the short end was sent to the stocks. <laughs> that sounds extreme, and thankfully that law doesn't exist anymore. However, in the US, even today, you may not have an ice cream cone in your back pocket during business hours. I think this is obviously due to health and safety reasons. In Singapore, you may be fined $600 for dropping or deliberately throwing chewing gum onto pavements. That is quite a severe penalty. However, I bet their streets are much cleaner than ours. I agree. Just imagine how clean our streets and pavements would be if this strange law were to be enforced everywhere. Well, that's all very interesting. But before we continue, I would just like to ask you... Okay, as you listen to the dialogue, it's your now job to answer the questions before I give you the answers. So for the answers, okay, I'm going to give you the answers right now. So for question number one, it is C. Okay, for question number two, it is B. For question number three, it is C. For question number four, it is B. And for question number five, it is C. I repeat, question number four, it is B and 5 is C. Okay? I want to share with you, as they said, that there are certain laws you look strange. As I said, you can share with your friend, with your any member of your family, about strange laws. Because strange laws may look like normal for you, but for other people, it is strange. That is strange also. You think this is normal to live like this and you find in other place, other people, they have different opinion about this law. I want to share this something about strange laws. I read somewhere that in Britain, it is against the law to die in the House of Parliament, al Parliament. I think that is a very funny law. If somebody had a heart attack and died in the House of Parliament, how would the authorities be able to enforce the law? I again, I give you the answers so that you can check, be sure that 
these are the answers for the 1C, 2B, 3C, 4B, 5C. Thank you for listening, and I hope you get all the answers correct. See you in the next lesson, and thank you.